Hey guys, Youngblood with you for another episode of Yawing and Jawing, and I uh, know it's been a while. <clears throat> You're going to have to bear with me just a little bit, because my uh, allergies are kicking my butt today. Uh, so you'll probably hear a little bit of hacking and stuff, and I'll try and cut some of that out. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing today is actually flying with some rocket pods, and that wasn't actually my intention. I just happened to spawn the wrong one, and since you can't change your actual vehicle loadout, which I would love to see implemented in-game, this is what we're going to be using. Um, one thing I want to let you guys know is, uh, you know, I posted up a uh, video with some sampling on uh, 1080p with some Battlefield 3 footage and uh, asked if you guys, you know, how you felt about 1080p and if you thought it was something that you guys actually wanted to see and if you liked it better. Um, you know, responses varied from yes, I love 1080p to uh, no, I don't really give a crap about 1080p. Uh, and I said, you know what, what the hell, so I upgraded my uh, hard drive, got a much faster one for actually recording, and I'm going to be trying to do that. Now, I've even noticed with the bigger hard drive, the frame rate slows a little bit, and it takes significantly longer to actually, uh, you know, render stuff. So, I think for the most part, you're going to see uh, 1080p. Uh, that being said, um, you know, I'm not really sure how much of that's going to be the case. And there's some old footage that I've got that's 720p, so it's going to kind of be a little bit of both. Um, but I think, oh, somebody's trying to get clever. Um, I think what you're going to see for the most part is going to be 1080 going forward. Um, and I agree, it looks quite a bit better, so we'll just see how that all plays out. Um, something else of uh, not much consequence is... Uh, I uh, signed a new uh, partnership. I went from TGN over to full screen. Uh, you know, with that, <clears throat> they offered just a little bit higher uh, payouts, and I'm not allowed to really discuss any of that stuff with you guys. So I'm you know, just letting you guys know you're going to see just slightly different ad videos than you've seen uh, before. Um, they also do these things called guerrilla campaigns, which allow you to earn quite a bit of extra money. And I don't know if I'm really going to participate in this much or not. This. We're just like sharks swimming around a tank. Hold on, let me see if I can just land and find something more interesting to go do. Um, but basically, what the uh, guerrilla campaigns are is you kind of endorse products. And uh, yeah, basically, you do a quick little 30 second uh, uh, you know, update on those. And it's basically just a uh, paid advertisement. You get better pay out of doing those. Now, I'm not planning on doing those, especially since, um, well, I guess I should say I'm not planning on doing many of those. You might see some, but the only, my kind of condition in doing them is going to have to be a product that I really all, like like to use or, you know, something I actually want to endorse. So if you see those, just kind of bear with it. Um, just wanted to let you know that, you know, if you do see it, it's because I do actually like the product. Where the hell is the fight? I didn't want to go on Indar because we were totally pinned down at the warp gate and I knew that wasn't going to be very long and I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit today, but... Alright, hang on. Let's get a little map... A little map action going on. Hey, Four Eyes. Hopefully you can, uh... Well, I'll say hi. If you watch this on the uh, video later on, uh, you'll know why I'm not responding much. <laughs> uh, tech plan. Uh, it seems like a good fight. I don't know why I didn't just go over there right from the beginning. Um, so yeah. One of the things I wanted to talk about was actually with uh, camos. And this is something that I've seen on Reddit quite a bit. Um, I don't know how, much, or how many of you guys actually peruse Reddit to kind of see what's going on and new stuff like that. But one of the things that's uh, I've seen quite a bit lately has been like people griping about um, like the new camos and how a lot of them actually look like different factions and I'm wondering how many of you guys actually feel strongly about that if you think it's an actual big issue or if you just kind of think that eh, it's just whatever um, for me I don't really see it being a huge issue just because I mean we have Doritos and you really should be kind of monitoring every <coughs> excuse me like I said a little bit of a uh, hacking going on um, yeah I mean you should really be you know spotting your targets and uh, you know be aware of at least where the enemies are about so you're not gonna end up getting you know too many team kills or snuck up on but uh, it is something that seems to be an issue and I mean obviously if you can control it there shouldn't be a oh look at all those guys there shouldn't be a lot of situations where you know you're getting real confused and snuck up on by somebody just based on their camo so I don't know I don't I don't envision it being a huge issue but I guess it is kind of a pain and if you're talking about you know 
faction characteristics and colors and traits, then obviously it shouldn't be that way, but... Oh, God, I can't buy a fight right now. I'm sorry, this might be the most boring yawing and jawing ever. Oh. Tanky, tanky, tanky. Also, the other thing to keep in mind... I, uh, I haven't been able to play very much lately. Um, you know, I've had a lot going on in the personal life and work stuff. Uh, so, and I really haven't been flying much, so I'm kind of interested to see how this all turns out. Don't want to hit the friendly tank, but don't sit right next to that freaking sunder. Is that a guy on that strut? Ooh, glad I didn't shoot. <laughs> you gotta like do it a test shot on infantry. <laughs> Yeah, the 1080 is just a little bit jerkier for me. I don't know how that actually looks in the game, but all an experience. Um, I guess another thing I wanted to, you know, comment on real quick was actually with um, the BF4 content. Um, hands down, you're gonna see some BF4 stuff on my channel, and especially when it first comes out, there's gonna be quite a bit more of it, just because it's new and exciting, and it's stuff that I want to play. And hopefully, you guys don't mind watching. Um, that being said, I always plan on trying to keep, like, at least a 50-50 uh, balance with it. Now, like I said, you're going to see more of it right at the beginning because it is, it's new and exciting, and I want to play it. Um, but going forward, it's, it, I don't plan on it taking the spot of Planet Side because I enjoy this game. And what I like about Battlefield and what I like about, um, and what I like about Planet Side are two very different things. Uh, you know, as far as uh, Planet Side goes, I like the fact that it's big and like, open and exciting. It's uh, massive combat, and I think that's what we all enjoy about this game. Um, so you're never—that's uh, never something that's going to be, I guess, delivered by Battlefield. Yes, it's bigger than a Call of Duty, and I really enjoyed that aspect about it when I made the switch from. Oh, I, yeah, I really wanted to use those flares. Um, that was obviously something that I really enjoyed about Battlefield, but Planet Side just does it better. Now, that being said, when you start talking about, you know, the two games, Battlefield gives a lot of the, you know, quick rewarding type gameplay. And yes, the games take 20 minutes, but you get a win or a loss after that. And I think that's one of the biggest gripes people have, hello Scythe, about uh, Planet Side 2, is there's not really any sense of victory or loss. It's just, you know, the game is over. It's just what it is. Oh man, I'm sluggish right now. Holy hell, I can tell I haven't played in a while. Where the hell did he go? Well, that was pretty poor. Alright, I'm going to spawn another one just because uh, I'm not ready to be done yet. So this is an unorthodox yawing and jawing. Let's get back over to the octagon and actually get an anti-air one. God, I gotta figure out my aim. But, you know, Battlefield, you know, you get in. You get, like, a 20-minute game, um, you know, and you get that sense of win-loss. You know, you can do a team deathmatch, and it's a lot of, uh, you know, quick action. Um, and it, so, like I'm saying, basically, they're just very different game types. And I, I think that it's something that you're going to see, um, but you don't need to worry about, you know, this game going away on my channel. Um, I love playing with the outfit. I like the guys. So, again, don't worry about that. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to actually talk about was uh, shadow play. Um, and, again, this is kind of like physics. It's only a G-Force thing, at least right now, and at least what it looks like. But on uh, the 28th of October, it looks like... Um, it, uh, NVIDIA is going to be unleashing uh, Shadow Play. And basically, what Shadow Play is, is it's a recording software that's built in, and apparently, it uses the um, you know, same aspects of, or I guess not the same aspects, it uses the hardware that's built in. So, it's supposed to be a really lightweight recording software. Uh, and I'll test it out and give you guys a uh, kind of a review on it. I mean, I primarily use DX Story for my recording. Um, so I, it basically what it does is there's two different options. You can do just standard game capture, which, you know, is basically what I generally do. Um, and then you've also got the, 
just record the last 20 minutes. And I think this is something that would be really cool, especially for those people that don't record very often. Uh, and basically what you can do is you can hit a hotkey and that's going to, uh, and basically that's going to then just save the last 20 minutes. So like, let's say you have just an epic moment. You're not normally like a YouTuber, but you say to yourself, man, I really want to share this with people because it was just awesome. Um, this tool will give you that ability. Now, it's not going to be like that for... Hold on. Hey, I actually aimed at something. Great idea was stationary. Um, but like, let's say you have one of those tremendous moments. This is going to allow you to kind of, you know, put that on film and enjoy it and share it for everybody else. Oh, that was a sweet kill. Oh, lockdown prowler. Now I'm wishing I had pods. Man, I am terrible right now. That's so frustrating. Alright, well, that's the beauty of yawing and jawing. You get some terrible stuff and some decent stuff, and you got a lot of terrible today, guys. Sweet Jesus, I only took about 20% of his health. Alright, so apparently I got some dust to break off. But uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today. Just kind of a quick little channel update. Um, if you guys have GeForce cards and uh, are interested in at least doing a little bit of recording, um, you'll have Shadowplay to actually check out. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, non-recorded practicing to get back up to par, and uh, hopefully I'll have another one of these out for you within the next couple days where I'm actually uh, a competent pilot again. So... Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later, and take care.